hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel uh, make sure that you do so you subscribe so that whenever i post anything at least you'll be notified that there's a video that has been posted and also don't forget to click on this notification button just after subscribing okay so uh if you have any questions in math and physics feel free to contact me on these lines let's uh do uh let's move on to the uh to, to to solving the question so uh this question is also from a tutorial sheet yeah so the question is a light uh, spring of an extended length of 14 uh 14.2 centimeters is suspended vertically from a fixed point as illustrated below a mass of weight 3.8 newtons is hung uh from the uh, i mean he's is hung from the from the spring as shown above the length of the spring is now 16.3 so this is the initial this is the spring when it is just at the uh, equilibrium it is only maybe we can we, we can say it is only um, maybe being affected by gravity yeah so this is the spring this is at its uh, this is at its initial point. Then after hanging uh, um, a mass of um, 3.8 newtons, the spring um, the spring stretched to 16.3 centimeters. An additional force F then extends the spring so that its length becomes 17.8. And then they also added another force, which is um, F. Uh, which extended the spring to uh, 17.8 centimeters the first question is that show that the spring constant is 1.8 um, show that the spring constant is 1.8 newtons per uh, meter uh, per, 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 per meter in short 1.8 newtons per meter okay so let us quickly do uh, let us quickly uh, so so I'm going to be solving it just from here so the first one there uh, we know to say we know to say uh, force according to the Hooke's law uh, according to Hooke's law the force is just given by negative KS so we will not add the negative because the spring is being suspended so let us just write it as KS so this S is simply just the displacement. So the displacement, um, rather, the, we can make uh, K the subject in this formula. So K will simply just be equal to for, force over S. And then the displacement S simply just be given by subtracting uh, 16.3 um, and uh, 14.2. We subtract this one, this one here and that one. So the answer that you get after subtracting that simply just be 2.1. So this is just giving 2.1. So the value of K will, will therefore be equal to um, F. The F uh, that was added was, um, the force that was added was 3.8 Newtons. Then the S that we have there is simply just uh, 2.1. That we have found is 2.1 centimeters. So we have 2.1 centimeters. So the value of K will then be equal to 1.809.5 um, uh, going up. So you can write it as 1.8 if you want. That's how they want it to be. So 1.8, 1.8, and then this will be Newton's per centimeter newtons per centimeter so there was an error here it was supposed to be per centimeter not really uh, meter so so this is what they wanted us to show so we have shown the first one let us move on to the second question the second question is for the extension of the spring from the length 16.3 to the length 17.8 Calculate the change in the gravitation potential energy of the spring. So gravitation potential energy of the spring 
we know to say potential energy is simply just um, we know to say uh, potential energy is simply just so, so let me just I'll use this symbol the gravitational potential energy is equal to so this one is straightforward it's just mgh of course the ch the, the h there is changing so we say mg delta h so it's supposed to be mg uh, h but h is changing there so the potential energy so okay let me just do it this way potential energy is given by mgh but if there is uh, that let me demarcate here so you know that potential energy energy is just uh, mgh and then since there is a change they want they want us to calculate the the change in potential energy so the change in potential energy simply just be mg the, the h will be changing so now potential energy the change in potential energy will simply just be so this uh, mg is simply just the weight so this mg is simply just the weight so we know to say weight is equal to mass times gravity so we can represent this by w then delta h so the w that we've been given is simply just 3.8 3.8 newtons and then we're multiplying this with the change in t in, in, in h so to find the change in h you simply you simply just subtract 17.8 uh, so when you subtract 17.8 and uh, 16.3 16.3 you are getting a 1.5 so you are multiplying this by uh, 1.5 but of course this is in centimeters if you are to convert this to meters it means that you are multiplying it by uh, by by 10 to the power negative 2 so when you find the answer there when you do the multiplication you say 1.5 1, 1 times 10 to the power uh, negative 2 then you multiply that with 3.8 the answer that you get to simply just be uh, 0 0.057 0 0.057 so this is just going to be in joules so this is going to be the answer in joules so this is the gravitational potential energy the change in the gravitational potential energy of the mass on the spring okay so let us move on to the next question which says show that the change in the elastic potential energy um, of the spring is 0 0.07 so this is also something that is uh, straightforward um, show if we want to show that the change in the elastic potential energy is that remember elastic potential energy is simply just given by let me just erase everything hope you have copied so the elastic potential energy is uh remember what we learned is just given by um half k x squared but x in this case is h so it's going to be half uh, k and then the change in h squared so this is also going to be written we can also write this as um, a half uh, k then we have h uh, h2 squared minus um, h2 squared minus uh, h1 squared yeah so yeah so from there now we can uh, plug in the values because we know to say h sorry we know to say k is simply just um k is simply just what we found which was just 180 we found 18 we found 1.8 uh, newtons per centimeter but this can be converted to newtons per meter to 180 um, 180 newtons per meter so this is what we found as the value of k so we have k there 
then the values of h to find uh, so this was h2 minus h1 there so the values of h to find um, h1 so h1 will simply just be equal to um, 16 minus 14 so 16 minus 14 when you subtract 16 I mean for 14.2 from 16.3 you get uh, 2.1 but of course this is supposed to be in meters so this will be 10 to the power negative 2 okay so we have another h which is h2 so h2 we subtract uh, 3 point rather we, we subtract 17.8 and 14.2 so in subtract 14.2 uh, from 17.8 will get uh, 3.6 times 10 to the power negative 2. So those are supposed to be in meters. So now we can just do the replacements there. Then after doing, after replacing everything, you discover that uh, the gravitational uh, elastic, uh, rather the the what is the the change in the elastic potential energy simply just be equal to okay let's, let's do the replacement together so we have the change in elastic potential energy is equal to half and then k is 180 and then our h2 squared is simply just zero so this 3.6 times 10 to the power negative two can be written as 0 0.036 uh, squared minus 0 0.021 squared so when you do the multiplication there properly and subtraction you discover that the answer will simply just be 0 0.07695 joules so when you look at this this is just the same as 0 0.077 which is exactly what they wanted us to show there all right, so this is how you are you are supposed to solve such questions. They are simple and straightforward. Let us now go to the last question, which says um, uh, determine the work done by the force. So the work done by the force will simply just be the difference in uh, the uh, elastic potential energy and the elastic uh, rather the elastic potential energy and uh, uh, the gravitational potential energy when you find the difference that's the work done so uh work done will simply just be equal to the change in elastic potential energy minus minus the change in uh the gravitational potential energy so this will now just be found uh, so we're solving this one here, the last one, the last question here. So we have W, which is the work done. Work done is equal to, so we're subtracting uh, 0 0.057 from 0 0.077. So 0 0.077 uh, minus 0 0.057. So when you do the subtraction there, discover that your answer will simply just be 0 0.02 joules okay so let us quickly move on to the next question so we move on to question uh, we move on to the next question which is just question two so don't forget to subscribe to the channel of course and if you have any math or physics question Feel free to uh, contact me on any of my lines on the screen. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.